Okay, hello and welcome to Stifles. It's a game that's um, based on sound. You go blind and you can't see and it listens to your microphone so the monster chase after you. Now I got sent this because of the Green Man Gaming Summer Sale that is currently on now. So links in the description below if you want to go head over there. Um, if you missed the Steam Summer Sale then it's definitely worth something to go check out if you wanted to go get some games that you wanted to buy and missed out on. Some of them seem to be even cheaper than there and if you have an account over there then um, it says sometimes it might add once you've added it to your basket a bit of an extra discount so it's worth noting that. It's lasting for about I think there's about a week and a half left now at the time of recording so it started on the 19th and it lasts for two weeks. So I've, I'm running this on my older PC well, I say older, my other one because the other one broke so um, it's on the lower settings and it might have a bit of lag input but you know I needed to get this out in a timely manner so it's like it's not really ideal. As you can see we've got sound I mean you know maybe my thing isn't as loud as it would want to be right so we've turned off the alarm clock and gone straight back to bed. These are the official channels to go check out so it's worth going to them. Ah no it's just transition us to move. Speak into the microphone to make a sample. Hello! Hello! I mean um Wait, are we always... Yeah, okay, so it rem only remains visible whilst we're making sounds. As you can see, it went very quiet whilst we were not talking. So, obviously, we're making sound now, so that's how we can see. It's going to make doing a Let's Play a little more awkward. Okay, um, stay sound, stay, stay, stay. And so, yeah, press T to toggle the overlay. Okay, so we can toggle the overlay. You are all I need, Hawaii, 1972. This is a very, very old picture that we're struggling to rotate around. Um, hello, microphone. You should be picking up my sound a bit better than this. It wanted me to whisper to calibrate it, but also at the same time, um, it's sort of being a bit harder. So maybe I'm not as close to the microphone as I would need to be. Hello, microphone. Hello. I don't know. I've I calibrated it. So, like I said, the monsters will chase us. And it's a very interesting concept that you can only see whilst making sounds. So it's an Eric Clapton guitar. Although it says Eric Clayton. Or is that he needs Eric? Eric Clayton rather than Eric Clapton. Okay, so we've got some paint tools. Nothing interesting on that. What have we got going on? So I'm going to have to be silent once we're getting chased a bit more because the monsters are going to go for us. Um, maybe I'm just not being loud because you had to calibrate the loudness to make a sample. And um, maybe I was a bit too loud on the sample's loudness. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too quiet for the samples. But that's also good because it then allows me to talk without necessarily making too much noise. So the brighter tomorrow with you. And then we got this weird sausage creature holding an egg. Boo! Hello! <laughs> sound pulse! Okay, so yeah, I guess that's how you got to maintain the sounds to get visions. Um, we're glitching through the scenery a bit. There's also a um, first person shooter that they've got to this. And this also runs in VR. Which is why it's a very interesting concept. So imagine playing this in VR, you know, not doing the Let's Play, but, you know, playing it for the sake of playing it. And you're fully immersed in the universe. Um, it's also probably whilst we're spazzing through the scenery a bit, because, you know, I'm playing it in the non-VR mode. To my best teacher, happy Teacher's Day. So I guess we're a teacher day. And we're an art teacher, I guess. So, yeah, I said art louder deliberately to do that. Um, are we going to come across the origami killer? Hello, references. Did I turn off the overlay? Just double checking that I did. Okay, so let's put the record on. That'll make some noise for us as well. So, you know. Maybe we're just already blind. Maybe we we're always blind. Um, a blind art teacher, though. It's an interesting concept. And, you know, we can only see through echolocation. It's not really how blind people see. But, you know, for the sake of the game, we have to make noises to maneuver. Yeah, that's why there's a lot of bras, because we're a female. So that's why there are bras everywhere. It's like, you know, you expect bras when you're a female. Hello, stay visible. <laughs> what have we got hidden behind here? Um, interesting that the light source went away as well. So whilst we're in there, is there someone in the curtain in the shower? Just water running. Okay. <laughs> 
like, I'm not half expecting something to be in here taking a bath. It's like, you know, it is a horror game. So once we start getting in there. Also, it's not all, um, you know, high detail like this. It does become low res, like low res, I mean, wireframe mode sort of thing. But that's an interesting visual as well. Like, I only really looked at the store page. I didn't really play the game or look up videos. So I'm not really spoiling anything for myself. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it wasn't sent by the developers. I was sent it by Green Man Gaming for turning out the lights. No, for, you know, just basically mention about the summer sale and putting up an article. So, you know, it's like technically ads, hashtag ad, but not really sponsored. It's just, you know, hey, I was given this key to do it and talk about the game and, you know, mention the mention the sale whilst playing it. So I will mention the sale whilst it lasts whilst playing this and, you know, get a couple of videos out there. It's worth going and checking out Green Man Game and also... Okay, it stopped ringing now. I was going to say, that was making its own um, visual circle, so I guess sound aspects and things that create sound also have their own fields of vision creators. Which is um, an interesting thing to do as well. That's good attention to detail, you know. Anything that makes sound as we're seen by sound is going to create its own visual force. So, you know, the light source will come from anything making sounds as they echo the sounds. And that is, you know, pretty well done. So, yeah. I'm being quiet just because I wanted the vision to go away, but, you know, it, it was being really slow, right? So the ball came out of here, so, you know, we're going to go into what threw the ball, potentially. I wish I had time to read. Okay, so, um, I thought we were a female character. <laughs> I wish I had time to read in the most manly voice. Um, okay, so we're not Mrs. We're maybe Mrs. Art Teacher was, um, our partner. Hello, Vision, Hello! <laughs> I need to see. Thank you. So maybe she was our partner. Also, light switches that, you know, stop spasm. They do give us a light source, which is interesting. You know, even though we're seen by sounds, it's like it still affects the amount of vision. So maybe we just go blind later. Right. I don't know what the point of that ball was then. There's got to be a point on that ball, right? There's probably some sort of signature or something on it. Hello! Stay visible! Hello! <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm literally gonna fourth wall it. It's like, yeah, I need to see. No, I could click at it. Wow, that went silent very quickly. Hello. It's like, um, maybe it's just because I'm talking so much, and maybe we need to pulse a lot. But you know, it just seemed like that one went away quicker than all the others. Again, you know, when we're being hunted, I'm probably gonna be very, very, very quiet. Because, um, you know, the thing hunts us by what noises we're making. But also, the thing is completely invisible and we can only see it by making noise at it, so... Hello, what are you? To all who see this, greetings. This satisfies the heart of gallantry. Established in 1700, it's awarded to Dave Ridley. Private first class. Four wounds received in action. Did we go blind? <laughs> we got the heart of valour, but we went blind. Okay. What was that? There's something in that one. Oh no, it's just the middle of the draw. Okay, dokie. Can we make sounds on the guitar? See, being a sound-based game, I'd have liked to have been able to pluck the guitar and, you know, make a few noises. Just double-checking that nothing is hunting us yet. I'm guessing we haven't got to the stage where it's going to be hunting us because, you know, I'm guessing it's going to be in the... Hmm. <laughs> in the hello does that say echo echo ika echo ika yeah echo because we're seen with echo vision right so um a baby he seemed very happy about the baby room even though maybe there's no baby in here um hello baby hello hello my darling hello my sunshine girl no we're not singing that but um also it's not oh my god creepy doll what do you think we should name her? <laughs> Audrey horses, we don't even know the gender. <laughs> 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 Alicia? Oh my god. <laughs> Creepy! Why did that creep us out? Um, yeah, I, I wasn't saying anything creepy about 
Tim Hummond in the baby's room and there being no baby and then creepy doll. Um, also, how did I know there was no baby? I don't know. Um, the seven little pigs. Once upon a time lived the seven little pigs. One day the kingdom tamed under attack from a very bad wolf. Can the seven pigs defeat the bad wolf and save the princess in the castle? Hmm. Well, I mean, I know the three little pigs, but um, the tortoise and the bear. The tortoise and the bear enter the race. Who's going to win the race? We need to find out the amazing feature and the feet and the winner. Hmm. The bear rides the tortoise in this one. Okay, so the bear literally subjugates the tortoise and like, you may be slow, but you're going to ride me all the way to victory. And yeah, it's totally not. <laughs> it's totally not a rip off. It's just literally its own story. Diapers, baby care. Thirty six size three diapers. Hello. We need to see. Hello. Sorry if I'm clicking in your ear, but that should be enough to fucking echo locate. That should have been loud enough. I think I might need to recalibrate. For death or not, I am to recalibrate. Okay, so did we bend in this toilet? Yeah, okay. So it's downstairs there, but I'm also getting the feeling that maybe I want to explore over here. It's just a window and nothing going on here. Can we jump? Rose? Rose Tyler? Hello? Hmm. I wonder, were we looking out the window maybe then? Were we supposed to be looking out the window and seeing someone called Rose? Or did we go back to the bedroom? And, you know, maybe she was in the bedroom. Oh dear. Oh, that's, that's Rose maybe? Okay. Yeah, we're being haunted by our visions also. Um, you better away! Where did she go? Turkey. She left dinner in the oven, that's for sure. Chicken, turkey, um, burnt bacon that we can't interact with, an egg, the flattest egg in the world, tea and coffee and a microwave, and um, how to cook feet. Mm, that's a very interesting book, isn't it? How to cook feet! Come on, <laughs> close up. Why is that one locked, but the other one isn't? What what are you hiding in there? Nothing. There's nothing in there. Okay, so parenting, but it's also the world's most disgusting flowery feet. Essentials you will need. Bread. Sugar. Who hides the Do people keep those sort of things in a cupboard like that under there? It seems an odd place or normally they're like desktop things, right? I don't know. Right, so the radio is on. I'm going to keep the radio on. It is pulsing sound, it's just um, very little. Very occasional for a solid music. You'd think it would be permanent vision in that. Personally, because it's got permanent music coming from it, I'd have made it a permanent sound. But I guess maybe that breaks the monster haunting you. You know, if it's permanent, it might be too distracting for the monster. And, you know, the monster would probably get stuck on a permanent sound source like that. Yeah, not creepy at all. Just, just some ribs, giant turkey leg, um, something that's clearly not an animal leg. And um, I don't know what that is, but it's certainly got rings on it. <laughs> and um, no meat has rings like that. It's some sort of beetroot meat. Hello, we need to pulse better. Okay, so um, we're glitching into... The glitching is a bit awkward. Um, I'm guessing in 3D it wouldn't have this. But um, maybe it's because it's expecting you to have a HTC Vive or something headset on. And, um, you know, it's... Because the camera's on a body that's maybe not stable, rather than floating to whatever height you have your headsets, it's making it freak out and be a bit awkward. Hello. No, I think you look very gigantic right next to us all of a sudden. That was a bit, um, you know, concerning. Hello, phone. We're totally not the origami. Freedom comes with a price, eh? Yeah, we're not the origami killer at all. Where is this phone? I mean, I've got headphones on. I've probably got them on backwards. Freedom is not negotiable. Okay, this is definitely, um, <laughs> definitely an interesting... Okay, so... 
The phone is here. That's one big old phone. Hello. Hello. Yes, I am here. Was... Okay, so um, we just got married to the lady and now she's vanished. So maybe... Um, did we vanish our wife? That's a bit concerning. Our wife and child that we... We, we seem to have vanished them out of existence. Maybe they're just here and because we're blind and they're just hiding from us and you know they're just being very very si oh my God. silent so we can't really see. Silence will fall or silence must. Fuck me. You need some fucking diazepam. Get control of your fucking shakes man. <laughs> Get control of your shakes. Also, I am going to turn off every light switch. Because... Oh my god. Okay. Thank you for getting control of your shakes. Hello! Hello! Right. He turned off that light switch and it calmed him down enough to get rid of his shakes. Wait, did that turn on the lights? I feel like that turned on the lights. It seems to have got brighter. The fireplace being off all of a sudden was a little concerning there. I thought, hmm... What happened there? That our fireplace went out. Hello. Right. What? What do you have to say, doggy? Um. Oh, no. Doggy, doggy. If we pick up an item, it gives us control and stops our shakes. That is good. Okay. So we're gonna have to pick up. Hello, alien cats. Alien cat lords. Origami. So. No. Right, grab the alien cat lord. <laughs> alien cat lord is stability. Okay. No. no. I mean, whilst we're grabbing something, it will control our shakes, but... I guess there's just some areas of scenery that we... It's the floor, the carpets. The carpets that glitch-tastic that we're just going to go through them. I mean, that is a very, very awkward thing in this, to be honest. That's quite a shiny little thing. Maybe once we're in, like, the Nega world, it will be better. But once we're in, while we're in this overworld, you know, it's a very jarring experience. And a very jarring entrance into this, isn't it? Hello. What do you have to say, Horsley? Freedom is never given. It is won. You have to earn your freedom. So, um, yeah. Are we going to be... Are we the horse? Hello. Wasn't she... Dead? <laughs> Our daughter? The baby? Hello. A doll? A doll? Hello. She was a doll. Yes. She was upstairs. What are you doing down here, doll? <laughs> Why was that Jason? It was <laughs> literally Friday the 13th. The neighbours are next door. Hello, hello. Hello. We need to speak very deep and loud in order to make vision to see. <laughs> so, this is a let's play with a lot of VHS players. And we will turn on the music. And if I speak in a deep voice now, we will see better. So, maybe not. It is deep voice day. Hello. <laughs> Just to be able to see, we're going to have to enunciate like we're some sort of radio producer. Hello and welcome to my radio voice. This is Indelacio FM. Stay tuned as we will run away from whatever creature comes for us. <laughs> Are you enjoying my radio voice? It is helping me see better for some reason. Very clear. And we cannot keep this voice going all day because it will be very, very bad for my throat. And then I will lose my voice and then we won't be able to speak at all. Hello, lady. Mm. Were you meant to trigger a cutscene but I interrupted it by walking in because I continued walking whilst that was going on. Um, are we growing weeds? We're growing roses, that's for sure. Um, what else have we got? Hello, doorbell. 
Okay, so someone was painting us kissing from a picture of us kissing. Hello! Probably our wife was painting that, so we're going to have to go to the doorbell. Can I sprint? I wonder if I can sprint. <laughs> I would have assumed in this overworld, though, we would have been able to see... I guess it's because it's an introduction to the mechanics as well, though. It doesn't necessarily want to prevent us from learning and, you know, throw us straight into the game. So we're going to have to learn as we go along. But, you know, it's an introduction beforehand. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. I know the way. The door's open. Who's ringing the doorbell when the door is already open? Mm-hmm. Monsters at our door. House 1973. So, are we in the future now? Is that what it is? Is that the gimmick? This was in the 1970s. But now, in the future, we're blinder and cannot see and haunted by monsters. And we totally didn't <laughs> have anything strange going on with our wife and child there. Not at all. It's not like they're completely missing and no one can ever see them because something strange has happened to them. No! <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Also Braille. But not really Braille because that's not a Braille letter. <laughs> that one isn't either. Because the second dot to the right. That, that, that's not possible in Braille. Hey! I know Braille a little. <laughs> I don't know what that would spell. Okay, so we had a car crash. That is what happened there. Now we're in the middle of the woods. Totally not haunted by monsters and running away. Did we have our wife with us? Did we kill them in the car crash? Is that what happens? Okay, can we jump now? We could certainly go upwards, right? Glitching still through the scenery though. Okay, so someone crawled off into the woods in the forest. Okay, so now we're on echolocate. Rose. Okay, so now we're in literal echolocation mode. Hello! Echo! <laughs> we need to see better than this. There's not a lot around us, is there? Okay, so I think we are going to be hunted now. And this is where it's going to be. Times where I'm going to need to be silent. But, at the same time... <laughs> Okay, so when there's literally nothing in front of me, also my pulse is not very visible. I guess my footsteps are making pulses as well, which is awkward. Okay, is there something in front of me? Because I can see further away than I can see. Is there something making sound over there perhaps also? What is that? Water? Okay, so I can see the water coming through. I think I might need to recalibrate my sound though because, you know, okay, we're in the water and walking through the water. Nothing could possibly haunt us here nothing at all but you know it's just I feel like the echo isn't really even speaking fully it's not really picking it up loud enough okay so that was a saving screen. I don't know why I was pressing E to try and open the gate then rather than left clicking because everything else was left click but in that instance I was like mm, yeah it's got to be gotta be Making sound because of us walking. Walking in the water. Right. Stop. Stop glitching. Fuck me. Stop glitching. You're going to get me kills. Okay. Stop. Stop. That is something that's going to break the game. Hello! Yeah, if you can't stop walking. Okay, so the red's gone now. Okay, now we can actually stop still. That's something that will get us killed. If we try and stop moving because we're trying to avoid making sound, also we're clearly not making enough sound. Hello! That should have made enough sounds. 
but it didn't. Okay, so that's an issue. Okay, so whatever the red thing was, we need to be able to stop when we want to stop. Because otherwise it's going to get us killed. And if we start glitching out like that and not being able to stop, whatever is hunting us will get us. Okay, so we can see it via the red, so when there's red, it is hunting us, or, you know, that sleeps area of field. Hello! Hello! <laughs> so, I guess a long echo is in order, in order to get sound, also movement, also, is that a doll? Um... Hello! Are you out there? Monster! I could hear something. Okay, so, right. I think we're safe. Okay. <laughs> I am going to try and find all the dolls, just because, you know, we got a doll collector one thing. There was like a badge. But also, was that the doll going roo, 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 like some sort of monster, or was the monster right next to us, breathing down our throats, coming to get us, as we cannot see far enough ahead? <laughs> I really need to turn up the sensitivity on this microphone. Can I do that now? Right, so let's redo the mic calibration. Hello, mic calibration. Microphone. Micro, hello. What have you done? Hello. Okay, so I'm going to go out the game and exit because um, now my thing is needing. There we go. Right, my calibration. Okay, so let's click calibrate. So that was silent, but it says to whisper a few words, but that's not really ideal. And then it says to make a loud noise, but I'm not going to be as loud as it wants. But I'm still going to be reasonably loud. So, if I speak loud enough, that's not really ideal, is it? I guess by loud it just means talk. So if I whisper a few words, then this will be the whispering limits, and then that'll work. And then I'm going to speak a bit louder, but not really be too loud, just because I want to have it at a vocal level. And then if I speak louder than that, it's loud. But if I speak a normally sort of thing, then it shouldn't be somewhere between. And then I should be able to see by being louder. That is a bit better. Wow, screamer? <laughs> I wasn't screaming, I was just recalibrating to be able to see ahead. But I guess if I wasn't really being loud enough, then it was helping. Or maybe that's what you meant by screamer achievements. <laughs> the, the, the delayed jump scare screen, yes. That's the one. Also, you know, I'm guessing this is going to be a jump scare game. Okay, that is very delayed. But again, you know, I'm recording on the PC. Hello. Left control to crouch, so I guess we want to crouch to get through there. A shoe. You say a shoe? Okay, holding the shoe makes us make noise and glitch out a bit, which is awkward. I could imagine it would be useful to throw to get a creature to go elsewhere, but whilst we're holding it, it's going to make me make noise, which is not ideal at all. So, you know, that's an issue. A known issue for tissues. Because it's a discovered issue. Okay, so we've got some stones here. What, what are you doing? Something's sucking me backwards in. Why am I moving backwards? Stop that. I hear it, I hear the monster. Right, now it's sucking me forward.
Okay, nothing over there. It seems safe enough at the moment. So we'll go forward, but I can hear something. Can you hear it? I can hear something breathing. Is it chasing us? Is it from behind? The delay on this is a bit awkward though. It's gone now. <laughs> it totally just didn't go. Re Stop moving! Okay, it's gone. Whew! It's a baby! Why is it a baby? on the other side of the wall. He can't get us. Creepy baby thing on the other side of the wall. I guess that's an introduction. It's not gonna get us. It's <laughs> Maybe it could get us? Okay, I think we're safe now. Whee! <laughs> okay, let me see. There's a hole in the wall, it still might be able to get us. Okay, I think we're safe enough now that we're okay. Right, so I was doing that to try and distract it because I thought it was in the room with us, but it wasn't, so, you know. We got past the first creepy baby thing. Is it our baby? Are we being haunted by our own creepy, undead, unborn baby? Maybe he never had the baby. And he killed them in a car accident. And then, um... Uh, Right, this is definitely what's going to get me killed when we glitch out on something and just can't stop making noise. So let's just get off this whilst we can because otherwise... Uh -oh.
It knows. Shit, we're stuck. Making noise. Stop making noise. Okay, I think we're safe. Hello! Echo! Echo! Right, I need to be able to see. So, we're gonna talk again. Okay, we got out of that one, okay. It grabbed me, but I had the rock in my hands and I was like, throw the rock at its face and I think it saved us and made it go away. <laughs> it chased after the rock. But that, that got me for definite. It had me. Right, that's just normal. It's not red. Okay. But he was on us. He, he had us. What are you? Just a drippy tap. Can we not get through that? Hmm. I guess that's not the way to progress. Okay, I need to see... So turning up the sounds was a good idea because, you know, it's made it a lot easier to echolocate. But it's still, I'm sure it's still chasing us. How many of those things are there down here? Right, so we can be careful and be a bit more cautious as well with corners. Even though it's not red. So not seen red. Okay, so I'm guessing there's going to be something in here now that we've seen the heads. Yes, I'm going to be musical to... Right, also, I guess that's because that's a very awkward bit. Can we interact with that, I wonder? Okay, yeah, we need to interact with that interact. <laughs> Is it chasing us or is it on the other side?
Where is it? Is it on the other side? Hello? I can't even see! <laughs> okay, why aren't you letting me see? Okay, did we escape it? Hello? Okay, so even with it calibrated higher. Right, I got the feeling that it was chasing us because we started activating that. And that's why I crawled under it and got out. It did, did go like it was grabbing me. So maybe it was in that area. Did it lock behind us? Hello. More creepy doll lore. So the daughter at least died, but the wife seems to have survived, so they didn't die together. Hello! Okay, so we are looking up at the ceiling. I'm guessing um, we locked it out and it closed behind us. But that's why I wanted to crawl under there. I was like, it's definitely coming. And that's why I just started doing it straight away. I was like, I'm not even going to do it in burst now. I think that doll, that baby thing is coming to get us, so let's just get out of there. Whilst we can. I think that was the right move. So yeah. But like I said, there's a first person shooter version of this called Muffled. So it's like in the dark. And you still talk to C, but also you have a gun. So you know. By the same people. So it's definitely another interesting game to potentially check out. Hello. And like I said, imagine playing this in VR. Because it is a VR title. Yeah, just throw one rock at it. That's totally not going to attract the monster. Oh, I wonder if we could have done that earlier as well, in the bit where we were. Because I feel like there was another bit that was similar to that where we could have potentially broke through. Hello, green. What's green? Green and exit. Green feels like exit. Oh, I saw red. I saw red! Okay, so he's down there. So he can't get us yet. Do I need to lead him away somewhere? I feel like I want to go to that green area. Hello, baby. Go for that. Expired spaghetti sauce.
Okay, I don't think it actually seems to kill us. Um, door? Hello? <laughs> Hello door. The door's vanished. Okay, so I've locked it in there. But, um, it definitely had me then, but... It did... I don't know, the screen went red, but we didn't die? I guess because that one was being very unfair and, you know, no matter how we walked, it still ran... Ran towards us. We'll be right back after these messages. And these glitchy ass messages. Hmm? Hang on. Our foundation mission is to provide a safe and loving environment for children from all of the communities of faith and culture. We provide disadvantaged children with the proper nurture, nutrition, shelter, clothing, and medical care and education. Adopt! Blah 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 blah. That's two pages. Monetary, we accept, shout. Anyway, so it's been a while, so join us again for some more. Thanks for watching. Good